Hey, welcome back to the Theo Technical Blog. Today I thought I would try something a little different, give you guys a video tutorial. This time I want to talk about one of my favorite extensions in the Google Chrome browser, and it's called Momentum. So let's take a look at it. When you first open up Google Chrome, you get a page that's similar to this with the Google logo, Google search box, and the sites that you frequently visit at the bottom. Now when you turn on the Momentum extension, this will look a little different. So let's do that. Up in the right hand corner, there's a menu button. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to scroll down to Settings. And then over on the left hand side, I'm going to click on Extensions. And I'm going to enable the Momentum extension. Now before I move forward, I want you to know that you can get the Momentum extension in the Google Chrome uh, App Store or you can also go to momentum-dot-com to uh, install the extension. Now with this turned on, when I open up a new tab, instead of the default Google Chrome browser, I get a different new tabs page. And that page now has the time, a personalized greeting, an apps list at the top left, top right it has the temperature, bottom right it has my to-do list. Um, and then it has this spectacular stunning photography that changes throughout the day uh, depending on what time of day it is. And I love the photography so much that I want to make it my Windows 7 desktop wallpaper. And right now my wallpaper is set to nothing, so it's going to look great. And we're going to have to do that in three steps. The first step is to enable the hidden uh, files and folders view. Second step will be to find that particular folder that the Google Chrome extension is using. And the third step is to personalize my Windows 7 desktop. Okay, so step one is to enable the hidden folders view. I'm going to do that by opening up a new folder. And by default, there are certain files and folders that are hidden from Windows 7 due to the security risk that are involved in modifying these particular files or folders. And so they hide them from normal users' uh, view. And in this case, we're not going to be manipulating any of them, so there's no big deal to uh, open that up. And the way we do that is we're going to open up any folder and click on or tap your Alt key on your keyboard and a new menu appears at the top of your Windows Explorer view. Come up there to the top and click on the toolbar and then click on Folder Options. And from there I want to click on the View tab there in the middle. Once I click on the View tab, I'm going to scroll down until I see Hidden files and folders and from there I can show hidden files, folders and drives. I want to make sure that's enabled and once I do that I'm going to hit OK. And now it doesn't look like anything changed but it has and I'll show you in the next step. Okay so step two is to find that particular extension folder so I'm going to go ahead and open up my C drive. From there I'm going to go to users going to open up my particular profile and right there we have the app data folder this folder is view usually not viewable by users it's usually hidden in this case it is available to us because we turn on that feature and so I'm going to go ahead and open up that particular folder I'm going to go to local I'm going to scroll down to Google Chrome user data and default and then finally extensions. Now your view is going to look a little different from my view here and that is because we have uh, different extensions in, installed on our Google Chrome browsers and so you may not have the same ones that I have. And it may take a little bit of digging around to find the folder that we're looking for. In this case I already found my folder here. When I open it I see that at the bottom it says Momentum.js, a JavaScript file. So I know it's Momentum, and I also have this folder called Backgrounds, and that is probably where they're saving all their pictures. And sure enough, it is. And so I have found the folder that I'm looking for, and I need to copy that address up in the address bar. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that and copy it. And then I can close my uh, Windows Explorer. Okay, on to step three. Step three is I want to personalize my desktop, and I'm going to do that by right-clicking on the desktop, selecting Personalize. Down at the bottom left-hand corner is a desktop background, and then I can click on Browse, and right here where it says Folder, delete my name, 
and add that address that I copied earlier. Hit OK. And there are all the folders. I'm going to click on Save Changes. I'm going to close this window. And there you have it. The wallpaper from my Google Chrome extension Momentum is there on my desktop.